I, this smells good yeah, over I, here. I can I can say that for sure. I, I keep raving about Festiva because I, I I just had the one dining experience there and it was exquisite. Uh -huh. It is elite. It is authentic Mexican uh -huh. food, and they just take such good care of you. And it's not crazy expensive. It's just a great night out. So. Chef Munoz, I think you just found your new spokesperson. <laughs> I, I think so, too. I'll give you that 100 later on. Okay, okay guys, so we're here to talk about the taste of a tyrant. Correct. Oh, Pauline, we're talking about this new play. Uh, tell us about Gaddafi's cook. So it's the true story of a young chef who signed up to be in part of the diplomatic corps. Mm -hmm. But he did not know who he was signing up for. And when he found out that he had signed up for one of the bloodiest tyrants in the world, he was literally locked down. They took his passport and people forgot about the two we, chefs that went to Libya. We, we have a clip from the play. Let's, let's roll that right now. You forget to feel what he does. To understand a dictator, you must eat like a dictator. Order everything on the menu. Then you'll understand what time here means. That is life here. Waste on top, want to be whole. You eat from Gaddafi's hand, or you eat not at all. Serve yourself, the table is set. Ooh. Pauline, you had to wait to get the actor that you wanted to play that role. Tell us about that. Well, it was all about visas. I mean, because of COVID, everything was backed up. So it took us two years to be able to get the Mexican chef who plays the Mexican chef, the actor, to, um, to enter the US. So we're very excited that this is the first show that will be done in America. The, the play actually previewed in London mm -hmm. in 2020 and lasted a week and COVID hit. Wow. So we're very privileged in Indianapolis to have this particular show here. Speaking of chefs, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> cooking away over here. Yes, what do you have going over here, Chef? Um, right now, I'm just searing off a uh, garlic, uh, an olive oil marinated airline chicken breast. Okay. Airline chicken breast means it's the boneless breast, but it's got the first nugget of the wing on it. Okay. It's a little prettier. <laughs> just a plain breast over there. Uh, so we're just searing it off on each side. We're just going to kind of. Get it going. We're going to throw it in the oven Love it. for about 10 minutes or so. Okay. Just let it finish off. And voila, by the magic of, of TV, television, we have one cooked off over here. Ready to roll. And we're ready to roll. And this one is one of the dishes that is uh, featured in the, the show where they actually, the chef on stage, will... Uh, will actually give the audience a taste of this dish then. So when they approached me about doing this, they mm -hmm. said one of the dishes is a, um, a dish with a peanut sauce. A, okay. And I've heard of a dish like that before. I never really have done it. Okay. So. Give you a new challenge. Well, yeah, it was, but it's very reminiscent to a Mexican mole. Okay. Uh, there's uh, peanuts, roasted tomatoes, onions, garlic, um, a lot of aromatic spices like cloves, cinnamon, okay. uh, coriander, and stuff. So it's very, it's got those flavors of uh, of Mexico, but it's very unique. So how cool Me is Mexico it? Mexico meets really... North Africa. Exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, this one, this one is one of those like that. So this is going to be that dish over here. I'm just going to garnish with a little. How cool is it to, as you're doing that, to really get into the theme and really attach it to what's going on with this play? Yeah, and like I said, this is one of the dishes that is actually in the play. So that's kind of really cool. So I will leave you guys with this one to try. Mm -hmm. And when Pauline um, approached me, I thought another great dish to feature that we do in Mexico is called Chile Nogada. Uh -huh. It was a dish created for uh, Mexican uh, independence basically uh in 1821 wow uh they stopped uh, the future emperor was going through the city of puebla and the nuns created this dish but for me it's got a lot of reminiscent of north africa it's almost it's got uh beef pork plantains pine nuts almonds that wouldn't happen raisin. in the oven would it yes it would oh boy we're gonna come out with this one so we take all of that stew which is very reminiscent of Mor a moroccan stew uh, you, a lot of the flavors, stuff it in a poblano, a fire roasted poblano pepper, and then we're going to serve this with a walnut 
Thank you, George. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> and that and metaphor. Let me let me finish this oh, one. Yes. I know we're in a hurry here. Oh, yeah. And this it's flavor with a walnut is cream sauce that is at room temperature. And Pauline, then, Pauline, you know, if you need an extra taste tester, I'm always oh, ready. You're welcome. You know, put a little, when, you the the when you taste this, you will not believe the. We're gonna put a little goat cheese over here. Okay. Cilantro, and so that you have all the colors of the Mexican flag and the little pomegranate seeds. George, you go right. Right. George, you go right. I'll go left. Okay. <laughs> I, and I, I always hate to mess it up because the presentation is so beautiful. I don't hate it as much. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that's the good part. I love it when people dig into it then. It's an incredible oh dish. Is, is these, that not fantastic? These are dishes that are typical of Mexican cuisine, mm -hmm. but not what people think that what Mexican cuisine is. And that's why, like at Festiva, we try to introduce people. It's not elevated. Yeah. It's what real Mexican cuisine is. Yes, we have tacos and stuff, but there's so much more to explore in Mexican cuisine, oh flavor God. profiles, than just chimichangas and tacos and burritos and, and my stuff. My experience there was that there were people there who could explain to me what absolutely. I was eating, and that was what was so much fun for absolutely. us. Absolutely. Oh, so yeah. awesome. Pauline, how do people get tickets? Oh, uh, in the, uh, District Theater, um, call me, 317-522-8099, and if you're coming, we need to know because you will get to taste this amazing food. Oh my gosh, QR code right there on the screen. Before and after the show. Oh my gosh, yes. QR code right there on the screen. Uh, if the show is any bit as good as this right here, I'm sold. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sold, Amber. This is good stuff. Amber.